So obviously informed consent is gold standard is what we should be doing for all of our patients. If they are ventilated and sedated, I would check how deeply sedated are they? Could they potentially, are they only lightly sedated? So they might be able to open their eyes and, and communicate with either nods or shakes or other physical means of giving me a yes and a no. So that's always what I'd go in to start off with. However, if they aren't able to do that, you can you can treat someone in their best interest. What that would involve is you making sure that you've done your risk assessment and thinking, actually, are the risks of me doing this treatment, do they outweigh the benefits or do the benefits outweigh the outweigh the risks? And then you can make a decision or the MDT can can make a decision about whether it's appropriate to continue that continue that treatment as well. So that very much boils down to your assessment to bit to begin with. And that might be with just reading the medical notes, it might be having a look at their OBS to start off with. And then obviously thinking about right, do I have does the my assessment in best interest outweigh the risks of me doing an assessment and then moving forward to treatment 